Nice. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Ultra the Spare Girl. So last time, we left off uh, facing the boss in Chapter 2. We uh, uncovered of what truly was Jotaro's face, and turns out he was going to be born a pretty boy, basically. And, um, yeah, he was also kind of, you know, under a bad influence. Yeah, we also met up with our precious... Uh, Makoto Naigi on the other side of the computer, basically. Only time will tell before we eventually meet. Most likely Kyoko. Um, but yeah. That's kind of, uh, it so far. But yeah, Future Foundation can't really reach us at this point because the Master will likely get killed off. And I guess everyone will want that, but us. But yeah. And now we're here, because the lights were turned off. The first thing I want to do before we climb down that ladder. Let's check what's over here. Yeah, boy. Super precision shot. Interesting. I guess I'll try precision shot in the next step now that that is mentioned. So. Obviously. Yeah, so, um. Super precision shot, there we go. I guess I'll add this too? Alright. Chachiro's not coming back, huh? Think he got beat by those two chicks? Well, not like I care. I hate him anyway. Taro promptly got himself killed. Cut, ground down, crushed and stretched, squashed into paste, burned and eaten. Poor little Taro. Even though I hated him. Anyways, Monica, why are we not holding a funeral this time? A funeral? Oh, that. I got bored of that. Doesn't really matter, we can't even fill the coffin anyway. W well, if you got bored of it, I guess we don't really have to. But, um, do you think Jachiro really died? Hmm? I mean, if he did die, we should have found his body, right? I was just, you know, a It seemed like he got beaten the fuck up. That's all. It sounds like you're saying Monica is wrong. Okay, brat. You're questioning Monica! It is, no, not at all! There's no way Monica could be wrong! And speaking of wrong, aren't the people who put Worcester sauce on fried eggs just wrong? Never did that, but that's probably because I won't touch eggs. But it's so obvious that fried eggs taste best when you drown it in maple syrup, right? I probably won't try that, because one eggs and two the fuck. right now is all. I'm just a teensy bit curious. Like about why mailboxes are always white, or how enemies become friends right after a fight. You don't have to worry about things like that. I, I'm sorry. It's not like I have bad feelings toward Monica or anything. So please, please don't hate me. Keep loving me forever and ever. Yep, yep. I already know that. It's not something to apologize over. I know you're just a sweet, gentle little girl. What? Oh, gentle? Kotoko, you are so cute, as always. Oh, fuck. Is 
ever fought our pedophile? The director, the producer, the sponsors, everybody was super happy. And now, there's another business you have to attend to. And your mom's gonna come with, okay? It's going to be all right. Kotoko is just so sweet. Everyone will be gentle with you. Very, very gentle. No! I don't want gentle! I'll do anything, please! Just not that! I'll do my best with singing and acting! So please! Anything but gentle! Oh, oopsies! I totally forgot. Gentle is a bad, bad word for Kotako. Jeez, to make you end up like this. It's as I've always known. Demons are the worst. Oh, I clicked on that. How Whoa. can you be so blind? Whoa. Hold up. Blind to their foolishness? Ugliness, noxiousness, bad smell, boringness, to their own damnation. Even blind to the fact that they scarred Kotoko like this. It's okay. Monica won't be gentle. Demons are filthy, smelly, ugly chunks of meat. More worthless than dirt and disgusting, filthy demons. Deserve a disgusting, filthy death. They should all choke on their own poop and suffocate! They should just hold it in and hold it and hold it until their intestines explode! Jeez, Kotoko, that's so gross. Um, what are you guys doing? Ah, it's Nagisa. Now's not the time for banter. We've got a lot of work to do here. Oh my, oh my. Are you perhaps... Jealous? What are you talking about? What do I have to be jealous of? It's not like I'm jealous of you. Is that what you're trying to say? Like I said, it, it's not that at all. Hey, what do you mean, jealous? Yeah, Monica, you're so innocent. I could just put whipped cream on you and eat you up. <laughs> get it at all and hey more importantly you mentioned there was work to be done did something happen yes i've received a report from the monokuma kids i sent scouting earlier those two schoolgirl demons are sending a communication from toa tower don't tell me they're trying to contact that demon society future foundation it's not a problem i already scrambled their transmission not too late we also have a hostage Future Foundation can't make a move regardless. And I have a plan. By taking advantage of those two demons, we can massacre all of the remaining free roaming demons. You mean the resistance? As long as they exist, our paradise cannot be completed. We should take this opportunity. Amazing! Amazing! I don't really get it, but it sounds super amazing! Well done, Nagisa. W wait, Mata. Hey! Huh? What's wrong? I it's nothing. Just y you're a little close to me, is all. Aw, you're such a shy boy, Nagisa. No. Your plan. If it works, our paradise can finally be built. And when that happens, the warriors of hope will level up to save you. Hmm. As our new leader, I will continue to have high expectations of you, sir. Y yeah, you're right. High expectations for me. Did you hear that? Our children's paradise of smiles is going to be ready soon. Hey, you're listening, right? Kurokuma? Oh, what the heck? Oh, right. You can talk now.
So this is the main guy, the, the keychain whip guy. <laughs> I can finally talk! Finally! Whee! Hi, hi, hi there! That was tough! I shall not be silent! Not have to keep him quiet for that damn long! Damn! Even someone extremely good at talking like me is already tired out from running my yap! It's hell? like the hero is still in its child face, but the warrior alien brother already showed up! That example sucked! Damn this fatigue! I damn only about a third as sharp as usual! So anyway, the hell are we talking about? You saying something about making adults into sausages? Gonna pull out the organs, grind them up, make them into yummy, cruelty-free cuisine? And then you gather them up, sell them in a supermarket, and become an urban legend? Huh? <laughs> now that sounds awesome! I wanna see that! <laughs> Hey man, we need a, we need a fresh look on Nagito. Okay. We're not at the first floor yet. This is an emergency ladder. Why did it stop halfway? Jeez, this half-ass ladder. Who? Wh where is the person in charge? Looks like we gotta head back inside from here. Uh, you're saying I have to walk through that dark place again? We're already on the second floor. Just a little bit further and we're out. I might actually be cheered up a little. I'm not the shrewish woman I used to be. Shrooms? Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'll rely on you anytime soon. It, it's gonna be all right. This is just the last hope, that's all. The last hope? That's not reassuring at all. Yeah, let's, let's get out of this godforsaken place. If it stays dark like this, my life is getting shorter and shorter. I can feel death behind me. Well, try holding out a bit longer then. What's that over there? A power panel, right? Uh, only one way to find out. Move. Okay. Can you work? Move if this sucker. <laughs> Finally, we're out of that horrible darkness. Yeah, all we gotta do now is get out of here. Find the light in the darkness. A challenge? Again? Find the light in the darkness. This one's pink, while well, the others are just. If you type in the password on that laptop on the counter, the shutter should open. I feel like we've done something like this before. Leave it to me. I'm in my element. I, the Riddle Queen. Why would you want to give yourself such an embarrassing title? <laughs> the light in the dark darkness. It's probably a riddle that has to do with light. Obviously. But does the room next door have something to do with it? Well, obviously from this. There's something right here. Do we have to? Oh. Um. No, it's something else. Okay, let's continue. Let's do it. So find the light in the darkness. Interesting. So I guess it requires shooting that as well. Is this another passcode? It is. All right then. So yeah, we'll just have to find the line in the dark. 
There's also this door. Oh, this is a door we can move. But yeah. But yeah. There's also something right there. I think that's another door. So two doors, I think. This may require us to... The light in the look. darkness. It's probably a riddle that has to do with light. Let's figure it out. Obviously. But does the room next door have something to do with it? Let's check it. There might be something in this room. Okay. Let's Thank get you. this over with. Pick up your pace. You see how there's two doors on that side though? Oh. What's this? Hey! What are you making it dark for? You're doing it just to mess with uh -huh. me. Aha! It, it's not like that. Two five one nine oh seven. Is that the code? So two five one nine oh seven. Do I have to make those six digit numbers four digits? What do I have to do? Okay, I'm sorry, but how many times am I going to have to tell you to use the damn detect? What if we try moving it again? Uh, Interesting. Can you help me move this locker? Sure, but you think there might be a hidden passageway behind the locker? The heck? There's no hidden passage here. Jeez, don't get my hopes up. Well, thanks, Toko. Get out of my fucking way. Toko, why don't we try moving this locker too? Ugh, you sucker people into doing work for you with your nice words. I'm tired. This is my kingdom come, after all, Toko. But you're actually helping me out, because two. Two one nine seven. All right, two one nine seven. Let's do it. Wrong one. Yay! There's no riddle I can't solve. Yeah, calm down, lady. You only solved a child's riddle. Now you lot. <laughs> I guess I didn't tell you why I'm afraid of the dark. It's not a happy story. Well, if it's something heavy, maybe I'll pass on the story. Free for now. I, I see. I'm just good. Mind tell me what you're doing with that thing over there?
Right. If you want to get past, you gotta win at hide and seek. The only hiding is a good singer. The one hiding is a good singer. Songs are good. When that song is sung, Beast Monokuma goes crazy. But when the song ends, Beast Monokuma overheats Kablooey. <laughs> New technology sure can, can sure be sketchy at times, huh? Interesting. It's time for a tutorial once again. Now this is a really dangerous room with lots of Monokuma beasts lurking around. It appears that Mono the Beast Monokumas are controlled by the children's song. That's troubling. But don't be afraid. As long as you can find the singing child, you can disable all all the beast monokumas. Iron Man is shaped like a monokuma, aka Iron Monokuma Maid, is where the child is hiding. Or choose the wrong one, and you get jumped by a beast monokuma. So look for the correct maiden while you try you to avoid the roaming beast, roaming beast monokumas. I take it the right one. Mono beast monokumas is removing a specific power, so it would be a good idea to figure that out. Also, when you're looking for the right one, you should trust the kid's singing voice. There's also a visual guide that will give you an idea where the singer is. So you don't have to fight against those beast monokumas if you find the singing kid. It's a pain in the ass, but it's better than fighting against them. They're all over the place. It's safer just to look for the hidden brat. So they trust the kids see. So there's Beast Monocum over there. So I just have to use my ears for this, huh? See the other one do it now. They all wait until they're on one side of the building. And then they do it again. Because now that one will wait over there. Be careful so we don't get caught. Yeah, alright, so that's what we have to do. Alright then, well... Looks like we'll have to fucking try. There's no way I'm not doing That's unfortunate. They're all over the place. It's safer just to look for the hidden brat. So last time it was that one over there, right? Another pattern. Careful so we don't get caught.
I knew which one it was, but I wanted to make sure. Overheated. Break them all. No mercy. That's no, no, I had to fucking retry that shit, because I simply, because those over there, just, they just, you can't, they don't move, and they look, and if you get in there at sight, then it's just annoying. With this, we can get outside, right? Nothing to worry about now, right? Yeah, that depends. The beast mode coming is gonna be something. How would you look at that? Okay, but being trapped in that sudden blackout? What's with that? It's those brats, obviously. They found out we contacted Future Foundation somehow. That's why they interrupted the communication. After that, we we really won't be able to contact Future Foundation ever again. Will Makoto come save us? Like I told you, he can't. If Future Foundation shows up. Master will be in danger. But what about me? Is it okay that I'm in danger? I'm just a regular girl. I'm not part of Future Foundation or Hope's Peak or anything. Yap all you want. You can't change the facts. Toko, what you said earlier... You weren't serious, were you? What do you mean? You said you were gonna kill me. If you're going to just go ahead and summon Future Foundation, I will prevent it. So you were serious. Mm -hmm. Alright, after this part. That's right, I am serious. I will do anything for the sake of my master. So, you'd even kill your friends? What? Friends? Did you think I'd feel differently if you started using the word friend? Don't even try it. I won't be fooled. That's horrible. I didn't mean it that way at all. I really, I really do trust you. Hmm. 
And then Hendrix himself came to my live concert three times! In my dreams, anyway. Alright, I will... What? You didn't think I'd still be talking? Well, guess what? I'm still talking! I will pause here and continue on this. Alright, everyone, welcome back to uh, Ultra Despair Girls. <clears throat> so, last time, uh, we... Oh, wait. Fuck. <laughs> It's not the end of the episode yet. I forgot. All right. Well. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. Hey, by the way, when is that neat party with the pool of blood and hell gonna start? This is gonna be a once-in-a-century event. I'd go even if I had to pawn off my wife for a ticket. <laughs> Massacre! Bonsai! M to the A to the motherfucking Sakura! Oh shit. <laughs> oh yeah! Massacre! What an awesome word! It's downright magical! It has a great ring to it! A beat to it! The beatbox beating on my heart! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyways, Hendrix was like, Hey, how much longer are you gonna talk? Hey, you can't stop me! I'd kill you! My fans would kill you! Or maybe I just have to win you over! Should I go help a granny cross the street or something? Cheese and dejected into my witty banter, you high bastard. Horrific idiot! <laughs> Never mind, just be quiet. I figured it would be a good idea to ask for advice every once in a while, but I guess not. He may be our advisor. But I really cannot stand all the noise every single time. We already have great ideas for hurting the adults, so we can get rid of them if we want. We've already lost so many of our friends. Let's just keep him in silent mode, hmm? Oh, you're so nice, Monica! In that case, I have no objections! If Monica is fine with it, so am I. Now, Let's hear about this plan of yours, Nagisa. How are we gonna annihilate the resistance? Simple, really. We crush their secret base. Huh? Did you find out where it is? Yes. If we ambush the place they believe to be safe, they will panic and be flushed out. Like ants who've lost their nest, they will wander aimlessly above ground. And in that weakened state, we crush every last one of them. The resistance dies with them. Ooh, Nagisa! How vulgar! If you weren't on our side, I'd totally pee my pants in fear! Of course, we have every right to kill them. They've quite earned their fate. Yep, yep, right! As expected of our new leader, you sure have a good plan, Meow. But instead of right to kill them, isn't it more like duty? We promise, Jixis Junko, that the Warriors of Hope will annihilate the demons. Woo! Woo! Nagisa and Monica are so vulgar, so cool! There's no way I can lose now! I gotta work hard and hunt, hunt, hunt down those demons! <laughs> Even though our team is missing a few members, we're really getting pumped up, right? You guys think so too, yeah? Oh, for sure! I agree so hard my nodding looks like headbanging! Coming up with that bitchin' plan all without your advisor? You sure have grown! It would be bad if I started an episode of this guy talking. What? I didn't mean like grown, like in the adult way. You guys wouldn't like that. It's like complimenting a ninja for standing out so much. Whew! That was a close one. Damn close! Hey, on a pitch, why sit are down. you talking? Monica didn't give you permission. Aw, be easy on me, Nagy, sir. Monica brought it up. Didn't you hear her say, you guys think so? Obviously, I am included in there. Right, Monica? Hmm? I didn't mean that at all. Dun dun dun! Hold up! It's true that I may have chatted just a little too much, but talking is like my whole purpose in life. If you tell me to shut up again, I'll die! Die, I tell ya! 
probably, definitely, no, seriously, gonna die. Jeez, you're hopeless. Fine. Just keep it down, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna say thank you. Ah, oh, gee. I sure hope there's no one in your group that can read minds. Don't want to say a lie that's gonna get sniffed right out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seriously. Hello. I apologize for being late again, everyone. Hey, hey, hey! Where the hell have you been? You totally missed my hilarious dialogue! I was running an errand for a Miss Fighter. It sure was difficult finding sweet chestnuts. Are these chestnuts properly peeled? I'm sorry? No. Why? What are you, nuts? This is downright nuts! I asked for peeled nuts! Unpeeled nuts are like a completely different food! Ah, as expected of the great Miss Actress, your orders are quite detailed. <laughs> hey, even if you're our servant, you keep bringing up ancient history and I'll kill you. Sorry, sorry. I'll peel the nuts for you. Forgive me. Guess I have no choice. I'll forgive you. Not! Take this! Take this! Useless servants deserve to end up like this! <laughs> good, good! Go for it! Ah, this is troubling. I prefer salty things to sweet ones. Hey! Where are you going? It has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me? You've got some nerve. Saying that while doing nothing on your own? Nothing? You think I've done nothing? It's true that you've saved me a lot. But I've been working hard too, you know? Saying that I haven't done anything? That's too far! <laughs> what do you want? You want me to praise you? You want me to say thank you? Too bad. I've never praised or thanked anyone my whole life. And that's why you don't have any friends! What? Leave me alone. I... I like being by myself. Rather than tagging along with someone like you, I'd be better off dying a solitary death. Someone like me? Meaning what? Someone who always has an excuse. A coward, using that word normal as an excuse, always getting help from others. You're the type of person who always says, there's nothing I can do about it, right? You are nothing like your brother. Huh, it's not like I really acknowledged him either. Fine. Where are you going? To find Shirakuma. You can go back to that dump if you want. It won't make any difference. Better than being here. You don't have to come with me. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I have my reasons. That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh boy. Alright, so in the next episode we will continue on with uh, Rob Ultra Spare Girls. I am playing more of this, clearly, uh, this for this session. So yeah, thank you so much for coming by on this lovely day. Uh, peace, peeps.